let's get into these medicine wives shall we listen we just starting off the episode this is season 10 episode 9 and i see the brat and the real bb judy on my screen again it was cute the first second third 15th time but by now we don't care anymore and don't they got their own show i don't want to see them no more unless it's on their show on their network Anywho, in the next scene, we have Toya complaining about her husband like she do every single season because there's nothing else going on. She's not fighting with Quad, so she has to fight a, pick a fight with her husband who works 12 hours a day while she plays tennis and takes the kids to the bus stop. Girl, she said he's not romantic. These little in-the-house days just cooking does not count as romance. I get it. I like to go out and about as well. He said, look, I work 12 hours a day and you don't work at all. Like, please. She's like, you know, homework. It. Them boys are teenagers. Girl, stop it. I, I, I understand you got to love people how they want to be loved. But it's like Toya seems like she wants a whole lot. But what are you giving? I, oh, Dr. Eugene, what do you want? I, I'm, I'm tired of hearing about what she wants. What do you want? And I promise I am in no way, shape, or form a male identified pick me. I'm just a little, Toya is ungrateful. Like, girl, you don't really realize how rough these streets are. The roads on these streets is rough. They got potholes in them. They will, your tires will be bald, flat, everything. Girl, you don't want it. Please appreciate what you got at home. In any marriage, not to go off on a tangent, but uh, there's give and take, there's compromise. And I think it's Toya's delivery that does not do it for me. Like her tone, everything always just be off. Like she just ungrateful. Like girl, most of us wish we could be a housewife and still get dates. He just took your tracks out last week. Now enough is enough. So we see uh, Dr. Daddy Damon and Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly. Um, crying about being empty nesters because their last little one, Alora, is going off to college. Damon crying because he like, now I got to deal with Heavenly with no distractions. I don't got no kids to try to pull me away. I got to deal with her and her alone. Woof. Heavenly said something about some five dogs. That's not going to be enough, honey. You're going to be bored and you're going to be bothering that man. But okay. We also got empty nesters, Dr. Simone and Cecil. Who we don't know where he works but that's that that ain't had nothing to do with it i just i just wanted to mention it now we know simone is paying for her son's condo for the next year for mr i don't want to work i'm following in my father's footstep miles in the other one i think he might work <laughs> they was even cheers and and dr simone was like hopefully y'all can buy it off me one day and i think it was little michael well he ain't little no more he grown but Michael was like, yeah, I'm going to buy it and rent it out to your ass. Talking to his older brother, Miles. And I said, oh, child, what the? <laughs> Even he know. I'm proud of all the adult children, aside from Miles, who don't know what he want to do with his life and won't come clean and just say that. But, uh, side note, Heavenly, your passion twists are unraveling. What's going on, girl? And, uh, Dr. Damon, I like Dr. Damon, but buddy, your, your wife is a dentist. What's going on at the bottom? I'm going to just leave that there. Phaedra and Dr. Alicia, friend of Meet for Lunch, boring snooze fest, nothing to see here. Sweet Tia Sever, her man acting like, she acting like she's Hoya, like she the housewife. The only difference is she works a full-time job. Who child? Who? <laughs> she's frustrated because of her recent diagnosis. He's frustrated because he like my age. I got with this young girl because I wasn't supposed to be waiting to have no children. And I got to wait on you and your surgeries. But even though he's frustrated, he is still being a supportive husband who loves his wife. Okay, I see it. So Dr. Eugene heard Toya's complaints and cries once again. And he shuts down the restaurant so they can have it to themselves. So they can enjoy each other's company. And that's a, ooh, I love, some women will never experience that in life. But here goes Toya sucking her teeth for her club attire. Mad because it ain't what she wanted. Girl, what do you want exactly? Make it plain, okay? So the chef was cooking in front of him, but this ain't hibachi. Eugene jumped up. He cooking because you know he loved to cook him a good steak. He, they was enjoying their time. Just be happy. Sometimes seeing your man happy or your spouse or your person, your partner, it, it should make you happy if you love him. 
But, I mean, Toya, girl, <laughs> she complained, oh, he's always playing these romantic dates. See, he set the bar so high, and now he's tired from actually working and taking care of a family of four alone. She still got them same expectations that, they, that she had back in college. Girl, this ain't that. So Toya shares with us that she used to work at Ruth Chris when they were dating. And he came in with his friends and he was bragging on her like, oh, look, there go my girlfriend. Ain't she cute? And she's like, oh, I was busting tables or whatever she said. And she's like, oh, so embarrassing. And it's like, girl, he was showing you off because he loved you. He knew you was that girl. And like always, you just ruined it with your complaints. What does he see in her? Whatever. Anyway. I think the little story that she thought was embarrassing was cute. She didn't. Anyway, she said that the date that he planned was more for him. That's his love language, not hers. Well, girl, what is your love language? Just say it clearly so there's no mishaps next time. She gives the date a seven. And she's like, well, a seven's a C. Like, dang. Whew. Tough crowd, ain't it? So anyway, Phaedra is doing Reiki. I'm not too familiar with what that is. I heard noises. I'm like, is it a sound bath? I don't know uh get her off the show what is this what is this get her off y'all not doing a good job without quiet and i'm just gonna listen we can wrap this season up if we ain't gonna bring miss quad miss quad back bring back mariah huck please all this drama going on with sweet tea and heavenly outside the show need to be happening on the show so Dr. Simone got a little crush on the male instructor. She, you know, flirting with him. I ain't never seen her looking at Cecil like that. So I don't know if it's harmless or not. Uh, the ladies gather. They do the Reiki. Simone fell asleep because she like, look, I'm the one working, taking care of three grown men. I need rest when I can get it. Heavenly, she has a one-on-one -on -one session while the ladies go out, um, you know, to gather for beverages and hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's no orders. I just threw that in there. But Heavenly got her little one-on-one -on -one session. She said she had the healing for her sister. She goes into her new storyline because she can't use her daughter anymore. Her daughter is gone. So she's using her new storyline, which is her sister and their lack of relationship. Heard this all before. Um, She's talking to Phaedra. And all I keep thinking is, girl, you really going to plop that wig on top, ain't you? Okay. So she started complaining about the sister. She calling her to be word, calling her out her name unprovoked. And Phaedra was like, well, first you got to stop calling her a B-I-T. That's first things first. So meanwhile, they outside talking to Sweet Tea about her recent health diagnosis. And she like, I'm so glad I finally got friends I can vent to and talk about this with. Girl, them ladies don't care about you. Okay, I just got to make it plain. I don't know how else to say it. They don't care. <sighs> That's where the episode ends. Snooze fest. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this episode in the season thus far, especially without Miss Quad, Miss Quad, down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.